Legendary investor Ron Barron, the chairman and CEO of Barron Capital, is here with us this morning. According to Morningstar Direct, the Barron Partners Fund retail share class is ranked number one out of more than 2,100 share classes since its conversion to a mutual fund nearly 20 years ago. We want to welcome Ron. And uh, Ron, it's great to see you this morning. Thank you for being here on set with us. Great to see you and great to see you. Great to see you. So let's uh, talk a little bit about what's happening with inflation, what's happening with the economy as an investor, how you kind of add all of that up and figure out how things go from here. So, so every morning, uh, 6 to 7 o'clock, I work out and I watch you on television. And it's really entertaining for me. It doesn't make me change how I invest, but it is very entertaining and it's nice to see uh, the service you're providing to people and how it makes them aware of why stocks are going up and down in the short term. And so the big thing, the big picture I take away is that uh, I started Baron Capital in 1982. And since then, there's been one year where the news was good. One year, 1989. That was the year where they took down the wall between East and West Berlin, and we thought there was going to be a peace dividend and everything's going to be fine. One year. And uh, in all the other years, we have pandemics and wars and inflation uh, and panics and, uh, and, and crashes, everything. And, uh, and, and what happens? The stock market is 800 when we start. And it's now 33,000, so 41 times. We've done much better than that, but 41 times in the face of all this terrible, terrible news. And so I watch every day, and what it reminds me of is when I was in eighth grade, I was at Wanamassa Grammar School, where there were 3,000 people in the community, and Asbury Park had 25,000 people. And, uh, and so we were graduating from Wanamassa, where we had 40 kids in our class, two classes of 20, going into Asbury Park High School, where there's 2,000 kids, 500 kids in a class. And the teacher tells us, the, the guidance counselor comes in to give us a lecture. And what the guidance counselor says, his name, and my friend Alan Levine, whose curveball I could never hit when I was playing ball, I never could hit it. Anyway, so call Alan, and he says, yeah, I remember it also. What I remember is that the lecture he gives us is that believe nothing that you hear and half of what you see. Nothing that you hear and half of what you see. I said, Alan, do you remember that? He says, yeah, he was my homeroom teacher. I remember that. And so that's the whole point. That's, so imagine that when I'm in eighth grade, that's the thing that sticks in my head. So don't worry about the headlines. Yes. So you're not worried about inflation, concerns about the potential for war, geopolitical issues with China, with Ukraine and Russia, any of those things at this point? You're just looking at what? I believe that inflation uh, will always persist and always has persisted, and it's a very large part of our economic model. So I think that inflation long term is 4 or 5% a year. That's what you've got to think about, 4 or 5% a year. That means that everything doubles in price every 14 or 15 years. Everything. It's tuition, it's labor, it's minimum wage, it's your car, it's your house, everything. And the example, one of the good examples I have is I gave a whole bunch of examples in a chart, but you guys couldn't figure out how to show it as a chart. Uh, but one of them is my parents, I'm born in 1943. And my parents bought their first house, and we lived in a garage, on top of a garage in Bradley Beach. And, and then uh, we bought our first house in 1948, five years later, and it was for $5,000 and and, and in Wanamassa. And then uh, and, and we had that till 1955, when my parents sold it for $10,000, and they bought a $20,000 house, which is sold for 150, uh, you know, 10, 15, 20 years later. The bottom line is, I looked up on the internet what this house is worth, this house at 1122 Grassmere Avenue in Wanamassa, $529,000, so 100 times. That's 6.1% a year. And if I looked at my, uh, the other house that they had, which was uh, for $20,000, which is now worth a million something, uh, that house is 5.1% a year. Everything you look at, stake, tuition, cars, everything, 4 or 5% a year.